Hello! Hello everyone and welcome back to video. This one's delayed because I filmed one and then I thought I don't like it. I don't like it one stinking bit. So here's another one and it's actually one I've been meaning to do for a while and I keep like starting doing it and then not actually doing it. Making weekly videos is definitely something new to me. I mean I, I feel like I've been doing a good job. It's been like seven weeks or like a couple of months ish that I've been doing it and I mean like I feel I'm pretty proud of myself like I was just doing it once a year previously like I only had like three videos up so yeah I know I ramble a lot so I'll just get straight to it today is a Q&A video yeah so I asked on my Instagram I guess here's a screenshot of my posts, my story posts. I did one of those like ask me anything things and so I'll be answering the questions asked by you or Instagram user in this video verbally because I'm running out of ideas. There's a lot of uninteresting questions or ones I've answered like 10 million times before so we'll see. Now Kawaii asks what kind of music inspires you? I think the, the one that inspires me the most like when I'm drawing or like coming up with an idea for something is like the creepy vocal songs like the edgy ones like I, I like edgy shit to a point and she also asks what's your favorite wig brand? That would be Dreamholic. This wig isn't a Dreamholic one, but I really, 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 really like Dreamholic wigs because they just look so nice and like natural and really cute. And I have been sponsored by them before, but I'm not getting paid by them and I'm not sponsored by them right now. Snick friend asks, when did you start doing makeup? Uh, per, I guess 13, but like, um, that's just like, really shitty makeup like back in my day of being a teenager which really wasn't that long ago foundation for pale skin types or skin tone did not exist like that wasn't like a luxury brand makeup like Dior and shit just straight up orange like I don't know anyone who lives in like a western country and I guess my age just like will remember the straight up orange makeup and there was no other undertone for makeup like like there was that and then like the the pencil hot like black eyeliner you know the like the Maybelline mascara that was like really clumpy I didn't wear a full face of makeup like I realized pretty early how orange the makeup was on me so I just wore like eyeliner all of the time I guess I did start doing that when I was 13 but I really like sat down and tried to like learn it when I was like 15 to 16 like because I really wanted to do like kawaii desu dolly makeup yeah. Izumi Hoshi asks, who's the best girl in Nair Automata? Operator 6? Operator 12? Wasn't she called something else? Maybe that's just me. No, it was like 6-0. Oh. 6 oh and 12 oh or something. Like, she was called something else, I'm pretty sure. 2B, A2, or the one machine with the ribbon. There were two machines with ribbons. There were the sister machines. Big sister and little sister. Big sister and little sister were cute. I didn't like A2 to begin with. She was too edgy. I don't think she really got enough character development because I feel like I don't know anything about it. To be honest, I only just finished the game and I've got almost all the endings except for like two. The Emil ending and the NZ, I think. I've got all the other ones though. So. Honestly, like I don't know what to tell you because... I like the game a lot, it's just like I wish there was more of it. Like the only one I really got a clear idea of was 9S, to be honest. He got a lot of character development, he got a lot of like, um, story. I feel like 2B and A2 didn't really get any. I guess I'd just have to say best girl, best girl 9S. <laughs> Swap with me, Louie B. Asks, how do you balance between regular life and like online life? I don't really know how to answer that. I guess I don't. You're asking the wrong person because I'm not a big deal. People don't talk about me. People don't people don't look for like things that I've done. Like there's no drama when it comes to me. So like I don't have issues where like someone will come up to me and be like, Oh, you're Saruko. You said this and I will never forgive thou. That's just not something that really happens. Like I'm not, it's not really something that clashes at all. Maybe ask me if I become a popular cosplayer or something. Cause 
right now it's not really it doesn't really affect my life at all here's the question i get asked this a lot chocolate doki doki if you ever think of doing lewd cosplay i will pay fairly for more towards a patreon inform please i kind of understand what they're saying i don't know exactly fuck no i'm not doing a lewd patreon i'm doing a normal patreon you can check that out in the description i'm not doing a fucking lewd patreon please stop asking i know you won't stop asking i'm not fucking doing it i just it is not my thing i don't like the idea of doing that there's a million other people that you can subscribe to their lewd patreons if you want that stuff i'm not going to do it stop asking potato von claus asks what food would you eat even if there was a chance it's ruined your cosplay i don't i don't really understand this question like is it going to make my cosplay messy or am i just like going to instantly become fat and like explode my cosplay off my body i don't understand this question arctic hatred says why are you so active now what got you up and motivated i'm a fucking neat i'm a fucking neat i have nothing else to do i'm not fucking kidding i am not fucking kidding i am it I am basically in fucking hibernation. I, like, I'm getting bored. Like, I have nothing else to do. I've been job hunting all this time and I still don't have one. So it's like, well, I might as well make, like, try and make a job Aww. out of something that I already have and I already enjoy doing, which is basically, like, it's a hobby. I thought if I can try and make, like, a bit of a, some sort of living expense from my hobby, which is, like, cosplay and, like, social media and YouTube, then that's like something of a job i don't know it's kind of nice to be able to just like put content out there as well it's kind of hard to explain but it's like that motivates me in itself being able to put content out transgender prince for the glory of mankind uh they do this right uh what about this 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 for the glory of mankind ray one seven four 000 asked where did you get anime stuff in mel uh there's a shop called one stop anime and also if you just go to anime conventions you'll be able to get anime stuff there i think there's two at the end of the year which is anime Gar and madman and those are the anime exclusive ones i'm pretty sure all the other ones are like cape shit alka fisa bar uh, do you mind when people ask how white you are i don't know if you mean like race or skin color but i don't really get asked how white i am i don't really get people going are you white rory reneko asks when is your next youtube video coming ads 76 favorite dog breed pomeranian i love pomeranians they are so cute i want one one day like really really bad tyrone doe asks are people from sydney the worst i don't know if they're the worst but sydney has the most furry flynn krojak asks how do you stay pale in australia it was all caps that's why i yelled it i um i live in melbourne melbourne most of the time looks like this you think i live in a place that looks like this so that's how chirushi sensei asks will you list more on depop yes i will at some point if you want to check out my depop i'll pop a link in the description lefis is strange says what's it like to live in melbourne um it's okay it's kind of boring though but i guess like i've been here for a while the best thing about melbourne you have access to like a million different types of bubble tea every single possible type like cheese flavored pearl beyond the chains they're like little small stores and then like a million like kind of boutique bubble tea shops and that means like there's so many different types of bubble tea that you can try i think that's the best part plus a lot of good hot pot places there are some asian makeup stores here which is pretty good pony co says muse or a cause muse obviously have a look i don't really like a cause to be honest i tried to like it when it like when it started it's like the characters seemed bored with it and like that just made me bored Umuga, how old are you i'm 20 i'm almost 21 i'll be 21 in july favorite type of chocolate asked by edd4 milk chocolate i really like lint chocolate that's my favorite i'm pretty picky about chocolate because i got really sensitive teeth to sweet stuff all the reactors why are you so big you only chan hmm. 
Lane Kura says, spicy or sweet thing? I like both. Although maybe I like spicy better. Kura Kun Kun says, will there be something special at 150k? If I ever fucking get there. <laughs> How you and your boyfriend met, Matty guess. Ask. Who friends? I met him at the first night I ever went out and I was pretty shy but I like made a good effort to make friends and I made friends with him and a couple of other friends. He stuck around and talked to me the whole night and that was very nice and like almost like this is so embarrassing like almost right away I was like oh he's kind of cute. <laughs> he's cute and I liked hanging out with him and we hung out a lot after that. What is the first thing you expected to earn slash get when you started cosplay? What? I don't know what you mean. Like money? I definitely didn't go into this thinking I'd be making money, that's for fucking sure. I still don't make money. I I absolutely guarantee you, like, Instagram don't pay me shit. The only thing that pays me is Patreon. And YouTube I earn some revenue, but like revenue disclosure, it's 30 bucks Australian. That's not a lot of money and I don't like I don't think I get to decide when that gets paid out. I don't even think I'm allowed to have my $30. Um, I was expecting $0, so what I'm getting from Patreon is pretty fucking good and I'm super grateful. It really does help me to make my content better and like do more with my content, um, enjoy life in general. This is an interesting one. Happy one, from what country you come from? You look super tender. <laughs> fucking hell. Australia. <laughs> I don't think there's anything else to answer. I wonder if this is a long enough video. Who fucking knows? I have a question for you though. Do you like this? Is this too messy in the background? I thought the white background is a bit boring. So maybe I put on my posters so you can see that. You can see the things that I like. Look at that. Look at those signboards. See? They're from the Love Live movie with my two best girls. And I mentioned Patreon quite a bit in this video. So I will say our p -p 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 Patreon link is in the bar p in the description because I need money. I do actually do something for that money. I do HD photo sets, very large images. They are fucking huge. You're paying for the big image. Yeah, if you just wanna like help me out, want more content, want me to do different content that involves me spending money, consider. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give a big thumb. But if you didn't, give another big thumb. And you can subscribe if you so wish. Ring the bell. Thanks for 20k subscribe. I forgot to mention that. Hopefully more in the future. Let's aim for that play button. And I will see you again later. Soon. Very soon. <laughs> bye bye.